The question is, how do you set up a run for a particular driver? Uh, so I'm going to show you the, the usual and simplest way to do this and then throw a spanner in the works and give you one more option after that. So um, down the left-hand side, you've got your drivers. Down the right-hand side, you've got your tasks to be assigned. Um, remembering that you use the new job form um, if you're typing jobs in, you can also be importing them from the API or from wherever the source is that you're getting them. Uh, it's the subject of another video. If we click the new job button, you can create simple jobs just with a single customer name or you can add a bunch of details, however you want to do it. And I'm going to assume for this first uh, setting of a run that each stop just has a single task on it. Uh, so that's usually going to be the case if you're doing multiple pickups and multiple drop-offs on a particular run for multiple different customers. Uh, so let's just see how this works. I've got a bunch of single stops. You can see task one of one on the job. Uh, this one's got one of four, so I'm not going to use that one for now. We'll, we'll look at that second. Um, so what I can do is, uh, and a nice easy way to kind of get a nice run going, is to click on the driver that you've got in question. Well, let's zoom out a bit. Click on the driver and you can see where he is. Um, let's let's give this driver Andrew all of the jobs down here in the uh, south of the river. So if I shift click, um, I can select a bunch of them. Click this actions button, assign selected, and pick Andrew from the list. Click save. Okay, that looks good. So you can see we've got the name selected, and the order actually looks like it doesn't. It's not too bad. Um, if I decide, well, that's only 37 minutes to do the driving all around there, maybe you can do the rest of them as well. Um, well, I think this, this is Mount Lawley one's the, the long one, so I'm not going to use that one. I'll shift click and add one more to the stop. Just, just keep in mind here, if I were to click that without holding shift, you're gonna, it's going to kind of lose all the rest of it and you can't remember what he's doing. So let's click on Andrew and you can see his whole run. Oops, click Andrew. Shift click the last one, and uh, then we're going to action. It's just going to assign the extra one. It's not going to try and do something weird like reassigning the jobs that are already assigned to him. Uh, click save, and there you go. I've got a run. Um, if I go hover over the name here and click edit route, you can now change the order that these appear on the driver app for Andrew by um, reordering them to your heart's content. Whichever, if you've got a particular order that they need doing in, you can see these are all just set to ASAP, but you might have a particular time that they need to be there. Uh, click Save. If I click on, the, click on the name, you can now see we've got a bit of a funny order going on here, and you can see the drive time has really leapt up because we're going to go from here over to, to here, and then it looks like back over 60 minutes, 64, then up to here, and then down to there. Okay, uh, that doesn't seem like it makes much, makes much sense. So let's edit the route again. Um, I can't remember what the optimal order is, so what I'm going to do is get a suggested route from Google. Say where I'm starting. So this is where we are right now, and maybe ending at I don't know, the beach. Click Go, and that'll suggest a route that starts where I am and ends there, and has the shortest total drive time. So you can see that's the that's the order now and you can see that the the total time is is back to something that makes more sense um, and that's it so that that run is now appearing in that order on the driver app for Andrew um, which is me and um, so one more thing to, to, to discuss that is if every task is a single pickup or a single drop-off and that's very frequently the best way to do it especially if you're doing runs like this uh, if you happen to be doing a job that has multiple tasks. So um, let's just go to that one that had the four tasks on it. I double click into there so you can see what it looks like. Um, you can see we've got four tasks on a single job. Um, if you're not really, if you can't remember how to do that, if I click Edit Job, uh, uh, remember this is this is the screen you get if you click the New Job button and then the Add More Job Details. Um, you can add as many stops as you want by clicking the Plus Stop button. Um, and uh, you can then also add multiple job attributes down the bottom. But what you can't do is have multiple job, multiple stops for multiple clients here. Um, that's not really the way it's designed. This is for if you've got a set of linked tasks that must happen one after another, 
they're all for the same client so the same client's going to see a tracking link with the locations of all of these um, with a map on it that looks like something like that and um, yeah you can't interleave other jobs so I'll show you what I mean by that let's just get out of this let's assign this one to Andrew as well and now go in and edit the route like I did before you can see this is kind of weirdly in the middle and if you click on Andrew um, it's, there's now so many stops it's a little bit hard to see but um, the total drive times creeping up there 123 147 minutes um, if I go and try and change the order this is this is all of the stops so um, I've got a dotted line uh, when I'm driving between different tasks and then uh, that aren't linked and the solid line is when you're kind of working on a linked job so multiple stops for the same job uh, if I go click edit route hope that made sense and I didn't just confuse you uh, but moving on um, we've got these five tasks all linked together if I try and move uh, one of these other tasks in between it's just going to leap from one side to the other so spatula assumes if you've created them in one job that they must be done in that order so perfect if you're do kind of doing a pickup for a limo service and dropping three people off or if you are kind of doing removalist type work or, or you've got a single pickup to fill up your truck and then making multiple drop-offs or something like that 